Hi, this is Susan with the California MBA here with your weekly video update. Uh, recently, California uh, passed our bill introduction deadline for the state legislature, and we now have the list of bills that will be following that affect the mortgage industry in 2016. I'd like to share uh, some information with you today on a couple of those bills. SB 1150 has been introduced and provides, among other things, all the existing pre-foreclosure borrower contact notice requirements that are currently part of the California Homeowner Bill of Rights to successors in interest. A successor in interest may indeed be someone who wasn't a part of the original mortgage, nor has possibly ever qualified for a mortgage in the first place. It this bill would require the servicer to contact the successor in interest, assess their financial situation, and explore options to avoid foreclosure, and also provide them information about loan assumption options, um, also allows a uh, successor in interest to simultaneously apply to assume the deceased borrower's loan and also apply for a loan modification. This concept has been uh, introduced previously in California and the California MBA uh, has been opposed to uh, the similar successor in interest pieces of legislation. We remain uh, opposed to this bill in its current written form and will continue to work with the author as this bill progresses through the legislature. Further, the CFPB may have their final rule on the successor and interest issue as early as this summer, and we feel California should wait to see what the federal regulators uh, issue so that we don't pass conflicting legislation in California. Also, with the recent Rhode Island court decision granting uh, HOA super lien priority, we have some positive news in California regarding similar priority lien legislation. AB 2693 has been introduced by Assemblymember Matt DeBodne, who's also Chair of Assembly Banking Committee, and the bill seeks to reduce the current super lien priority uh, affiliated with PACE lending to a judgment lien and mandate a TRID-inspired disclosure on PACE providers. Uh, it's definitely a, a positive development uh, for this measure and we will continue to provide updates uh, as this bill develops throughout the session. For all of the legislation that we're following this year, you can visit our website, cmba.com, and click on the Advocacy tab for a list, um, a list of bills. Also, I'd like to remind you to come to Sacramento and participate in our annual Legislative Day that's happening on Monday, April 4th. This is your chance to speak with these policymakers about these bills and other bills that affect the mortgage industry and share your expertise and be a voice for the mortgage industry. That's it for this week, and we'll see you next time.